our soul. There is a big pressure. People are expecting to see the world record and I train really hard uh, to do this record and I promise my fans, my family, you know, everyone to, to break this record. This is nuts. Take a look. Let's go and take a look. I think it's going it's to have to be a night to remember. I mean, the growth of the sport has been so incredible for me to watch and, and be involved with. Because it is that comeback or last show, it's kind of like my, my swan song, if you want. Um, I think I am going to get quite emotional. It's historic. I don't think you put it any other way. It's historic. It is. It, the, the arena and the sport itself is steeped in so much history. To bring them two together, it means a lot. We as athletes are incredibly grateful for these opportunities because it could be over tomorrow, it could be you done, yeah? So we all understand that you compete as if there is no tomorrow, so this is... It's historic, yeah. My first Strongman show was in 2010 uh, in a, a pub car park, um, which a lot of shows were back then, you know, to now, just over 12, 11 years later, and we're in pretty much the, the grandest stage of all. People need to understand, you don't just book the Royal Albert Hall, you have to be invited, so to get us into this massive, massive venue is, is, is pretty special. This truly can go any way. Everybody has very strong events in this competition. Everybody's going into it with a little bit of momentum, and honestly, this is, this is, this is a very high-stakes competition because anybody can win. This, this is gonna come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes and takes the most advantage out of others' mistakes. It's gonna be pretty emotional and um, hopefully uh, an incredible evening. Curtains up then, and our commentary compares are Colin Bryson first, Danny Wallace. Well, thank you, James. And this is exciting at the Royal Albert Hall, an international field. And we begin with Evan Singleton, the T-Rex North American Open champion from 2019. Joining him, just a huge man from Wales, the former soldier turned strongman, Gavin Bilton. Pa O'Dwyer. Five-time Ireland's strongest man, they call him the Limerick Lion. From Latvia, Avar Smog Stellis. He is Latvia's strongest man. First time at Giants Live tonight. Then, out of retirement for one night only at the Royal Albert Hall. It's Charley, Lauren Charley. Iron Bibby. If you haven't seen this man do a backflip, you have not lived. Britain's strongest man, multiple world's strongest man finalist, Adam Bishop with his mighty mullet. Then one of the strongest brothers on the planet, the Highlands Oak, Luke Stoltman. The Miracle Man up next. 55, his grip as strong as ever, Mark Felix. Then Tom Stoltman, brother of Luke, the albatross, hoping to spread his wings here tonight. And how can we do this at the Royal Albert Hall without the reigning world's strongest man? It's Novikov, looking to add to his crown here tonight. It's the most regal of venues. And of course, the top three tonight win a golden ticket to world's strongest man. Collins with Bill Kazmaier now. So our first event is the Axel Press World Championships. And we're going to start heavy, around about 170 kilograms. That's really heavy. Now, Bill, the world record is 216 kilos, Eddie Halls. Do you see that going tonight? I mean, this is all about maximum weight. Well, a little bit of strategy going on here because there's going to be a lot of guys going 190 and then out. But Big Iron Baby, he's the man with the shot for the big one. I, I think a lot of people would agree with you, that's for sure. In fact, we measured his biceps yesterday, and they are two inches bigger than the world record in the Guinness has in the gold record book. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's looking massive. I think he'll do it tonight. Well, it's a very heavy start, and after Avars and Felix didn't lift, Lawrence Charley also found it very hard going. Not the start he wanted. Then it was Pao Dwyer, got the lockout successfully, had a good time for it. Cheery smile. 
Then Big Gav Bilton sets a new Welsh record with his opening lift. He seems delighted. Then on to Bishop. Well, this was the very same bar that tore his bicep in 2017. They beat him again. Then Evan Singleton got the approval of referee Magnus Ver Magnussen. As did the mighty Luke Stoltman, who just can't stop smiling. Then 2020 World Strongest Man champ Novikov. He just looked like he was doing it for fun. Then Tom Stoltman also made it look very easy, as he does most things. But not as easy as this man, Ian Bibby, making a 170 kilo axle bar look like a toothpick. That's one of his little fans. And we're on to round two. Evan Singleton getting a little encouragement from. Well, a lot of encouragement from Adam Bishop. This is 190 kilos, 420 pounds, 30 stone. He works it up to the shoulders. Has he got any energy left, Danny? Oh, my goodness, that went over his head. Well, doesn't get the call from uh, Magnus van Magnussen. It's a fail. Is he going to do it again? Looks like uh, he's run out of energy, so uh, yeah, that's bad news. You've got to drop it forward. So that won't count. Luke Stoltman will have been watching that with great interest. Five times Scotland's strongest man. Just one of the best pressers on the planet. Huge shoulder power. This guy's got wild shoulder power. Both he and his brother in great shape at the moment, but this is proving to be hard to the chest. That sticky shirt helping him. Something's not quite right here for Stoltman. And he's beaten. I think he just spent too long just trying to get it up over the power belly and onto the to the shoulders. There's some issue it seems with his left arm. Yeah, maybe it's uh, it's very hard on the biceps. This. So will his little tiny brother do any better, Tom Stoltman? Taking on 190 kilos. Oh. Wrenches it off the ground, but these long arms of his, he's called the albatross for a reason. Very stable, very controlled. Looks almost confused at the ease with which he did it. What a stage to do it on. Great tricep pressing power there with those long arms of his. There's, uh, there's plenty more there, I think. Next up, a steaming Iron BB will press on in his battle to defeat this world-class field and that world record. That's all coming up on Giants Live, the Strongman Classic. Welcome back to the magnificent Royal Albert Hall, graced today by the Strongman Classic. Over to Colin and Danny. Thanks, James. Yes, 120 years since there was a Strongman competition here at the Royal Albert Hall. It was called the Great Competition. Titles were easier in those days. In red, then, are the men who won't progress in this event. Tom Stoltman managed 190. Who will join him as we move forward? Novikov next to take on. This huge weight, Colin. Yeah, there's just two men left now. Novikov and Iron Bibby to follow. And Bibby, he made light work of 170. Novikov, what can he do here at round two? Shaking away. Well, there it is. Always with those bursts of power. Not a giant to look at, Colin. No, not at all. He's such an athlete, isn't he? So explosive. I really thought he was going to fail that when it was shaking away on his chest, but not a bit of it. On then to Iron Bibby from Burkina Faso. Made round one look like nothing. His chest measures in at just under 80 inches round, so getting it up to the chest is half the battle here. Will he to make it through? Of course he will. He's Iron Bibby. <laughs> No problem at all. So three men left now. And of course, it's Tom Stoltman, Novikov, and this man, the mighty Iron Bibby. Well, he leans back so far, doesn't he? And then just.
presses it off his chest almost. On to round three then, 205 kilos. What's that in pounds, Colin? 452 pounds, Danny, around about uh, almost 33 stone, just under. And in shillings? <laughs> A lot. Well, look at this from Mothercoff, that explosive power again. Starting to slightly struggle though, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the power belly's getting crushed now. Wow. Well, Novikov does not manage it. It looked like he was getting slightly crushed by it as well. That's part of the problem. He doesn't really have a power belly. He's in such good shape. Wow. Good effort. Well, on then to Tom Stoltman. Also in his tacky vest. Which doubles up later on. It's a wonderful outfit for the strongman disco. <laughs> it certainly serves a purpose. As you can see, sticking to his chest that bar on the way up. Here we go. Oh, that was so close, and he knew it. I don't think he had it on his chest long enough to, to really pause and hit it hard enough. It's a good effort, though. And so, very much the star of this event so far, Iron Bibby next to take on 205 kilos has made everything look so simple so far using the most impressive of power bellies if he does this Danny, he's going to go for the world record <laughs> he's done it of course does not seem to have taken anything out of him really right here right now he's saying yeah. bring it on he's saying let's do this right now well, that 216 world record of Eddie Halls, I'm sure you remember it, what a night yeah. that was. He looks like he could have it in him, if he can get it to his chest, Danny. He's got to get it to his chest, that's the hard bit for him. We all know he has the pressing power, 217 is going on the bar, here we go. Well, this is an enormous weight for an enormous man. looked like assault but it was actually encouragement from his brother and somewhere Eddie Hall is watching praying that Iron Bibby does not take his world record away from him I don't know you know Eddie is a big fan of Iron Bibby I think everybody is he deserves this he's been close to it before he's attempted it before it's up to his chest oh no no it isn't Oh, a slight buckling from Iron Bibby, but he's, he wants to go again. Magnus van Magnussen, the referee, has the decision as to whether he gets more attempts or not, if he's safe, and he's obviously happy. Just missed that clean. Got to pop it a bit more with the legs. Get it cleanly up to the shoulders with energy. And he's dripping with sweat. How much more has he got left in the tank? To the chest. Oh. No. Is he beaten? Well, I think that's it for Iron Bibby. What an athlete, though. Really went both times, full guns. Oh, I'm totally heartbroken here, Danny. I really thought if he had got that to his chest, he'd have pressed it. He definitely would have pressed it. He's got the power, and the crowd wants it again. The poor guy, he's tried twice. Don't do this to him. Oh, no, he wants this so <laughs> badly, doesn't he? He's going to do it. He is going to go again. Good on him. Come on, Bibby. It's now or never. I, I don't think he's got a, a fourth attempt in him. He's got to hit this. Oh, no headbutt this time. Maybe that will help. Yeah. But look at this determination. You know, he doesn't have one of these bars back in Burkina Faso. Maybe it's learning on the job here. Pouring with sweat, my goodness, here we go. Yeah. For what must surely be his final attempt. It's up. Come on! It's up! He's been given it! <laughs> 217 kilos! He beats Eddie Hall's record! Well, that is a world record for Ian Bibby at the Royal Albert Hall. 
Look at them all up on their feet. My goodness me. They've seen some history here. Well, surely, Colin, the ghosts of 120-year-old Victorian strongmen ghosts will be applauding too. Undoubtedly. It's a weird thing to say, but it's true. Let's have a look at the uh, side view here. He just needs a momentary pause, a split second with his feet in line. Didn't quite get it there, but there he got it. Just for a split second, he had it, and Magnus Fair gave him the down signal. Great angle to see it from. Well, absolutely. Again, sorry about that ghost's comment. I was just feeling quite emotional, as was Ian Bivy. Watch his face. This is the moment he realises he's done it. <laughs> and he's with our special guest reporter, Terry Hollands. Amazing effort. What were you thinking about that moment? I missed this world record back in 2018. And I had in my head that I cannot go back home without this. And I'm really happy that the crowd helped me to give me another chance. So, you know, it's all the crowd and a positive energy that helped me today. Well, I've got to say, I've not, I don't think I've ever heard a noise like that at a strongman competition. The crowd loved it. Congratulations, what an amazing effort and new world record. Thank you so much. There's nothing ginger about the way Bibi went at that. A classic strongman performance here in these very classic surroundings. Great starts too for Tom Stoltman and Alexei Novikov. Thanks, Colin Bryce, for the next big challenge.